everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was going to say good morning, but it's afternoon. I've had pretty rough morning here this morning with my, my issue, my problem. Anyways, who cares about that? I'm feeling good for the moment or feeling okay. So I'm going to get busy here. I have four peaches. I'm going to blanch and I am, I'm making this my version. I don't really follow recipes and I just want you guys to know that they turn out fabulous. I just don't want to put all the extra sugar in it and that. I am making a mac and cheese today too, so trust me, there's some balance going on here. And I probably shouldn't even be making this, but I am. Long story short, in here for the uh, crumble, I am doing about a half a cup of butter, and I cubed it up. I did a quarter cup of sugar, and I have three quarter cups of flour. I don't know if I'll use it all yet, but I have that to make the crumble. In here, after I blanch the peaches, I'll cut them up. Every recipe I read, they called for um, a cup of sugar and four tablespoons of cornstarch. I did a teaspoon, or pardon me, a tablespoon of brown and a tablespoon of white, teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of sugar, salt, and some two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it up. And I'm just gonna blanch my peaches now. They're really nice peaches though. Look at them, they're huge. Ontario peaches, beautiful peaches. So this will probably turn out really nice. I can't find the pan that I wanted to make this in. That's because it's in the freezer with the cherry crisp that I did up a couple weeks ago. Because see, I make all this stuff and then I freeze it because if I don't, I'll eat it. <laughs> Not joking, guys. So, but I'm gonna have a little piece of this tonight. I'm gonna treat myself. I'm being a bad girl, whatever. It is what it is. I gotta live, right? Come live with me. Let's have some fun. Okay, my water's at a full boil. I am just going to put the peaches in here, all four of them, just for a little wee bit. I don't know how long, it won't take long. It's just gonna take the skin off. I'll turn them a couple times, and then I'll take them out, cool them, and peel them. I'm not leaving these in very long, because I'm not trying to cook them, I'm just blanching them to get the skins off. Okay, these have been in maybe two minutes. I'm gonna take them out now. Yep, see the skin's already coming off. It's perfect, exactly what I want. Now I peel these when they're hot still. They're maybe a little too hot yet, but you just peel the skin right off. It comes off usually in, a big, in big pieces, so it's not even hard to do. These are still maybe a little bit too hot, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, I got them all, all the skins off. Now I'm just gonna slice them up. I had one peach that could have been a little riper, so I just cut it a little smaller. I'm just gonna drizzle a half a lemon over that, and then I'm gonna uh, just let it cool down a little bit. It's still a little warm. And then I'll mix my other mixture, the sugar and stuff into it. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna make my crumble. I am gonna use my hands for this. I just washed them, they're still wet. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour into here. And I'm going to crumble the butter into this. And I might need to use all the flour. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I'm kind of winging this recipe. So um, don't you love just doing that? Just doing it your way or whatever? Yeah, they would never hire me at a bakery. <laughs> never. Um, just break up your butter here with the sugar and the flour. And I'll probably need a little more flour in here. I'm going to get this all made up. And we'll go back to the peaches. Okay, I'm just gonna mix all this together. And then I'll put the peaches in here. Should've used a wooden spoon, I apologize. Mix it all up. And once it's all combined really well, I will put it into my um, sprayed pan here. It smells delicious, it really does. These peaches are lovely. They're from the Negra region. They were nice and big. I'm just gonna take my crumble and I'm just gonna crumble it on top like this until it's all done. I'm sure you've all seen this before. I'm just showing you my version. I hope you're enjoying. I hope everybody's having a good day. I have the nicest subscribers too. Like some of them are so sweet. It's nice. And if you're new to my channel, um, comment on stuff. I'm good with that, I like it. I, I answer everybody back. I, I Well, I try to anyways. I'm doing my best at it. I'm not saying every day I'm going to be able to do that. There's going to be days that I'm sure 
want to become a big rock star? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I'll still do my best to try to do that. When I become um, bigger on YouTube, if I become bigger, no, when I become bigger, let me get that right. I am uh, probably not going to do a video every day, but I'm going to do as many as I can. This looks good already. Now I'm going to make some ooey gooey mac and cheese. I have a plantain, which is a banana, if you don't know. Um, I am going to maybe cook that up too because it's kind of ripe. I'm going to check it out to see if it needs to be cooked today. Don't really think it goes with my meal, but well, it goes with anything because it's lovely to eat. I just fry it up. And I'm just thinking of all these beautiful calories in here. That's okay. I'm having such an off day that I don't even mind. Okay, there you go. There's my crumble. And that's about all that I have in there. Looks good, right? Now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for probably 35 minutes or so. It won't take long. Maybe 40, I'll let you know. She's just a bubbling still. Thank God I put a pan underneath it because it did bubble onto the pan. Okay, I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese. I have an eight by eight pan here that I'm gonna spray. Um, I'm gonna make a roux. So I have two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of butter, and I'll add some milk to that. Then I'll temper an egg and add that into it. If it's not thick enough, right, or not uh, rich enough, but I will do that. And then I have a few cups of cheese. I have mozzarella and cheddar, that's what I have. And I'll add a little bit of the uh, powdered mustard into that too. I'm just boiling my water right now for my noodles. And we'll get this started. This is just butter and flour, a roux. I'm gonna cook this flour off just a little bit and then I'll add my milk in. And I'm just using a 2% milk for this. I'm not making a big batch. I'm only doing an eight by eight tin. Usually I do like a lasagna size tin. Okay, I just added about a cup of milk. The flour cooked right off. I'm gonna do a pinch of pepper in here, pinch of salt. A little bit over my shoulder because I dropped some. Do you ever remember that wise tale? Yeah, my mom used to do that all the time. Okay, I have this on lower now because it's not going to take long to get thick. I'm going to take a little bit of this out when it gets warm before I add my egg in. And I'll temper my egg. I have my egg right here, already beaten up. I am going to put a little bit of mustard into this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it out and add it into the egg and temper the egg so that it doesn't cook. So I'll just take enough out to temper it and I'll stir that really quick. If you don't do that, you're gonna get a scrambled egg. And then you can pour it right in. There you go. Now your egg won't cook like scramble onion. Okay, now I'm gonna add my cheese in. I reserved some for the top. And I'm just gonna stir that in and make my cheese sauce now. Okay, my cheese sauce is done. My noodles are almost ready for me to drain. They're bubbling up good. I'm gonna turn the sauce off and pay attention to the noodles now. Okay, I just drained my noodles. I'm gonna put them back in the pot because I'm gonna add the cheese sauce into that and mix it all up in the oven at 350. Top it with some cheese. I'm gonna top this off with the rest of my cheese. Um, it's not too high, which is good because it won't bubble over then. I did about um, a cup and a bit, I guess, of noodles. Cup and a half of noodles. I didn't want to make too much. It's just me eating this, so. And I am gonna top it with a little bit of breadcrumb topped up with the breadcrumbs and I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll show you when it comes out. Okay, she's still bubbling hot. You can even hear it. <laughs> Looks good though, right? Pull down a little bit and then I'm going to have that for dinner with some of my peach crumble. Oh, bad dirty. I have a little bit of ketchup because I like it like that. I don't know if you guys do, but I'm going to taste it now. It's still pretty hot. I'll try it without the ketchup first. 
I have my pie sitting right in front of me. Aren't I lucky? Good, guys. Really, really good. I'm going to go eat. Well, I'm going to close now. Give myself a little bit of this. Um, I'm not even hungry, but I'm just going to try it. I might not even finish it. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Let's see. Night. It's fabulous.